Portions of Evening brought to you by Northwest Center. Welcome back to the show from Capitol Hill. 50 years ago, a group of Northwest parents got angry because their kids with developmental disabilities were turned away from public schools. They believed in their kids and insisted that we all should. Well, at Northwest Center, that revolution continues. Here's Kim with one mom's story about how her kids' inclusion have helped them not only survive, but thrive. Anouk Corte doesn't hesitate when asked to describe her kids in one word. One word. Quirky. <laughs> For Zach. <laughs> over there! And then Katie, I'd say feisty or determined. Um, she is very, very determined. Zach was diagnosed at 18 months with autism. Katie was born prematurely, then later diagnosed with prader villi syndrome, a rare genetic disorder that causes low muscle tone, cognitive disabilities, and constant hunger. But Anouk doesn't define either of her children as disabled, nor does Northwest Center, where both kids participated in early intervention as babies and now attend early learning classes. Sometimes you look at a child with, with delays or special needs and think they're probably, you know, their life is gonna be different. They may not be able to do the same things that other kids can. And I love that we sort of break down those walls every day in our classrooms and in family homes. And it's incredible. One of the ways Northwest Center breaks down those walls is by doing something we were all taught to do as children. Include everyone. It's about teaching everybody to be together. So we have all of these kids with all these different um, abilities in our classroom, but we're also teaching kids how to work together. In our inclusive classrooms, it means that um, kids with and without special needs are interacting side by side with the same expectations, the same goals. These siblings have gone far beyond expectations since being at Northwest Center. Zach, who once couldn't respond to his name or make eye contact, was striking up conversations with our photographer. Well, look at this, what I found. And Katie's friends have helped her climb to great heights. One day, my daughter was trying to climb up the steps of the slide and there were two little boys that were typically developing and they were standing on top of the slide and she just idolized them and they said come on katie you can do it and it was just i mean it made me cry just standing there you know watching it it's just such a great great place <laughs> Today, Anouk is excited about what the future holds for her children. They both have thrived, and I'm so grateful. I just, this place saved us when we really, really, really needed a place to help us out, and we had no family here, no one, and, you know, we wouldn't have been able to get through all of this without Northwest Center. And everyone at Northwest Center looks forward to seeing Katie, Zach, and their fellow students make the world into a place where everyone is included. And all I can think about is our future and what these kids are going to do and how they're going to view the world and how they're going to view, view people of different abilities. I, I just have such high hopes for all the kids. Thanks, Kim. Northwest Center's message is the world needs everyone and it starts with children. If you'd like to find out how you can help them, go to our website, king5.com evening. Well, that is